to anybody who may be clicking onto this video and having a little look-see. Um, I hope that so far your 2023 has gone amazingly and I hope that it will continue to go amazingly. So you know the classic uh, new year, new me sort of thing that people tend to do? Well, I'm kind of doing that, but instead I'm gonna do new year, old me. So back in 2020, obviously that was the year like the worst year probably for everybody we obviously were stuck in the panini and couldn't go anywhere in october of that year when restrictions had kind of like eased a little bit in the uk um i think you could only see like a certain amount of people i'm not entirely sure i was invited to go somewhere and on my way to that place um i had a collision with a lorry on the motorway uh, they crossed into my lane not seeing that i was there um i basically kind of ended up like spinning in front of them and through a fence, whatever. By some miracle, I was, I guess, pretty much unharmed. Um, I had injured my arm from like, basically like the muscle of the arm from like tensing, but actually like I had no concussion. I had, I think I, I found a couple of bruises or something. The thing that affected me the most was the mental trauma. And I got very scared uh, to, to be in a car essentially um i obviously had to go back into a car there was like no way that like I, I could live my life like without my car and so it became very clear to me that i needed like some help um and uh, long story short i spoke to my insurance i got some therapy i'm doing much better than i was obviously it's been like two years two months now and i am no longer as afraid as i used to be i am more scared being a passenger because i don't have that control but there is still that small part of me that has kind of realized that over the last two years i have become much more of a like a recluse and obviously like a lot of people i think are in the same boat because of the panini it's yeah it's just one of those things where you know the one time that we were kind of like allowed out and that happened and also it was actually the second car accident that i'd had in that year so in the january whilst i was work um going to work uh, somebody came out of the junction and hit the side of my vehicle wrote that car off um so yeah literally then october had another car written off and i was getting scared to drive not only for like my safety but also just because i was like i can't afford to like keep replacing my cars as much as insurance obviously give me something for it i just i can't keep on um affording to do this so ever since then i have just been so scared to like go different places in my car this year definitely has been the approved like i have i have improved a lot especially since um having the cbt um and i'm in what's say edrm ERMD, something like that, the eye, rap, rapid eye movement thing. And it, has, it, did, it, did, it did really help me. But there are still those few moments when I do feel quite scared. So I have kind of promised myself that this year will be the year that I gain my confidence back and I become more sociable. I work from home majority of the time now. And as much as I, lo I, I love that, like in, basically the work-life balance is great, but I am not using the life part of it as I should be. I'll either be just like stuck, you know, doom scrolling on my phone, like watching TikTok or something, or I'll just sort of turn off my work computer and then just be sort of like sitting at my desk and not really know what to do and kind of just faff about online for 15 minutes or even an hour sometimes. And then suddenly I'm like, oh, when, you know, working from home first happened, I remember sitting there and thinking, oh my gosh, I have like so much time to myself. This is incredible. Even though I still have the same amount of time, I still feel like I have no time. You know, that constant feeling of like, I have no time. I'm, I'm running out of time. And just like a couple of months ago, it kind of hit me that I think the reason that I feel like I'm constantly running out of time is because I'm not using my time correctly. I'm not using my time right. When I look back on last year, aside from doing, I think something in April and something in May, I have no memory of anything that I did last year up until about maybe September, October. So in that April, I went to a LARP. In the May, I went to a cosplay convention. And then I'm like, what did I do? What did what did I do with my time? I, I genuinely cannot think of anything that I did. Obviously I can go back on Facebook, I can look through my phone, see what pictures and stuff I did. But last year specifically, I just cannot remember. And then I think more October, we sort of like have takeoff 
um, you know, I was rehearsing for a show that I did um, in December. Um, I went to October Expo and then in the November I went to a friend's wedding and then December we did the show. I went to Disneyland Paris and everything. So I have loads of memories of the last part, like the last quarter of last year. But anything before that, apart from the two things that I've already mentioned, I just don't have a clue. And I'm like, that is wrong. That is where this whole vlog and recording and everything comes in because I want, I'm predominantly using this as a video diary to myself so that in a year's time or however long, maybe even half a year's time, whenever I feel that way, like I feel like I haven't filled my time with things that are worthwhile, I can look back on it and go, oh yeah, actually I, d I did do a lot of stuff. I just want to appreciate some of the smaller stuff that, that we do do as well, such as just like, you know, popping around seeing my friend or going shopping with my mum, etc. So this is the sort of thing that I am aiming to do within this vlog. I'm editing this video as we speak and I actually just wanted to jump in at this point and say I am also wanting to use these vlogs as an encouragement to myself to go out and try new things and be a bit braver. So where I have been this recluse for so long, I kind of feel like it would be no, if I if I know that I have to post out a video I'll be more likely to agree to stuff um, and hopefully get stuff done so I forgot to say that in this bit but yeah so it's kind of like wanted to keep a diary for myself appreciate the little things but also hopefully use vlogging as an encouragement to actually get out there and try new things okay bye there, there may be some days some weeks that I just don't really do much at all and I'm prepared for that but I feel like filming the little things and also spending my time editing and creating the video, it, it will just add something. It will give me like a purpose. <laughs> so just a bit about me. My name is Emma. This is gonna sound like a dating profile. I'm 31, I'm still living with my parents. I'm single. Um, you know, I have three cats, a dog, two horses, um, and I'm really into like cosplay, LARP, Dungeons and Dragons, um, amateur dramatics, I love doing shows, I love singing um, and I sort of have a lot of other little hobbies that I just love picking up like every now and then I like I might like to do some crochet, I like to draw um, in fact if you actually look at my Emma Eglantine Instagram it is just drawings I love to write so there's a whole bunch of stuff that like I like to do sort of in the background so I have actually, I've filmed this intro at the end of my first week and I've realised that based on the way that I filmed I'm probably going to have to actually continue talking to you like this and continue um, I sort of put myself in so that you have some context because I am not yet used to talking to cameras and stuff out in public predominantly I would really like to use this camera but I also kind of feel like it's more natural nowadays to like obviously just like pick up your phone and do that or that rather than bring out a big camera well not really a big camera but just bring out a camera so until I'm used to it, more than likely it will be my phone that I use. Um, so apologies if like, the quality or the sound isn't fantastic, but I will hopefully eventually feel a bit better about using my camera. Um, I really hope that you enjoy joining me in this year. This is, as I said, this is just for fun. Let's get into the first week. First visit of the yard in 2023. Oh, one of them's limping. Oh, they've seen me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Aww. Oh, how cute though. This is my horse Barney, and I was trying to show the difference between his body and his neck from where he was wearing his rug. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give some sweet corn. So this one here, this is my one here with the pink. And it is Daisy, really original. Um, this is Sam. And then this is Roxy. So it looks like they've had some peas today, but I'm gonna give them some some sweet corn. And naturally Sam comes over straight away. He always does. At least we think it's a he. Here you go then, go then. Gotta step back a little bit. No? Just ignore my offering. Eat that instead, yeah, sure. I'm gonna have to go outside the cage, aren't I? Honestly, they usually dive on this sweet corn. I think they were probably just camera shy. Well, that was a dud. This is my other horse, Dusty. Hello. Oh, 
nice. Oh, lovely. Fogging up my phone. That's nice. there's rain so rain is actually these two it's mum so Barney's about four years old now and Dusty is just over six months he doesn't seem to mind sharing with Dusty either like, it gives her a little bit of a thing, but compared to when Roma tried. Yeah, well, that's his sister, isn't it? Do you think he knows? Yeah, he knows. He probably does. Because he, she must have the same smell as what Roma yeah. is. Welcome to my car. Um, we're not driving, as you can probably see, based on what is around me. Um, basically, I'm home now, after coming um, back from the yard. And I have been promising myself for weeks that I'm actually going to tidy up my car because it has become an absolute state. I will show you, hang on, I'm gonna to have to move you. And you're on selfie mode, so I can't really, can't totally see. Anyway, so like this, I mean, this uh, is part of what, like ignore what's on the seat and stuff, but right, all of this, how easily can you see that? All of this is my sister because we go to work together and she puts, whatever she's been eating for breakfast or whatever there and you know as you can see it's just you know and back here is is no better um sorry i don't know how well you can see that so i have been absolutely oh my god there's so many birds out there look at that oh no typically as soon as i start filming they go away oh there's one random one over there oh there we go Oh, they're still out there that's really cool as i said this is it you know and there's like a smell and i think there's it's either two things either some of that food that my sister has left in here or potentially like this towel here i took my dog to the yard um a couple of days ago yeah maybe <laughs> um and essentially um obviously his paws got incredibly muddy and i was like you're not going in my car like that so i'm essentially just taking inside anything that doesn't need to be like I've got a coat back there uh, that that could easily go inside. Um, I've got like, like I mean, a sock. This is not my sock. This is definitely my sister's sock. And I don't know how long that's been in there for. I'm gonna start cleaning, and then tomorrow, if it's open, I'm going to take my car to actually be cleaned and the place that i take it to does inside as well i thought i might might treat myself um you know brand new year get a nice a nice um new car not new car a nice clean car so um i know that i could probably do it myself but the problem is is that i don't have a hose pipe at the back of my house um only at the front and there's no real parking there's like no parking at the front um and also i don't want to car frankly so i would treat myself <laughs> to a clean um, I'm procrastinating. All right, let's get on with it. I can't help but like keep looking around because obviously it's a bit weird, like just like, randomly talking to yourself in the car, but whatever. I've been really dumb because I've just like put that uphill. So now, now my feet are getting wet. like moldy i think i'm gonna throw this away this is a sock filled with um cat litter <laughs> it's meant to be like to help with the condensation but i don't really think it did i'm gonna use that it's actually really hurting my back like this and i'm only doing this for your benefit like is in terms of this angle these do nothing life nowadays isn't it people do it all the time
I mean, do you know what? Let me, let me close my door. It just makes it a little bit less awkward somehow. I'm not a massive fan of filming selfie mode with my phone because I instinctively want to look at myself, which you can see that my eyes are like moving this way. I, w I need to look at the green dot. Like, I love my car. I do. I really do love my car. But I've got no pockets back here. Like, you know, when people, you know, especially when you're like a kid and you're sitting in the back. So, yeah, I've got absolutely no pockets, no pockets here. I'm obviously going to, I'm going to put that on up in a minute. That's obviously coming in the house with me. Um, that I will put in the rush bag to then go in recycling. Um, you can see the footwells are like absolutely covered in mud and crap. That's obviously mostly from when I come back from the horse yard. Like, look at the coloration, like the discoloration on her thing compared to mine. Like, hers has got this like white thing on it and I can't help but think that that's probably the mouldy thing whatever it was obviously everything else is fine the the dashboard um could do with some cleaning but that's what they'll do tomorrow this is now fine do you know what let me stick you underneath I'm gonna turn you upside down and stick you underneath so I can see if there's anything else underneath there I don't I think I've got everything Bruh. by the looks of it I'll stick my hand under there just in case so usually I have my nephew's car seat here as well so this will be good to get tidy right and then what i'm thinking is i have these things here in my car um they're like just really you know cute little i mean oh <laughs> oh my god that's foul oh my god how do i live like this my intention is to take these inside and wash them and so that then like okay hang on if i zoom in is it me or does that that's the, what is that is that like mold or is that cobweb either way I don't really want to touch it, but of course I'm I'm gonna have to. Um, I can't be bothered to go inside and get gloves. I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. Oh. Okay. Obviously, that is a drink that's spilled, and that's probably just stayed wet all this time. So, yeah, definitely gonna take these out, wash them. I've got some in that one as well, which I'll take them out. I'm gonna wash them indoors, and then when they clean my car tomorrow, at least they can sort that out oh that's foul i don't want to touch it again but i gotta put it in the bag Ooh. um one of the things that i have like found in my um boot is this tiny little bumblebee it's like a felt bumblebee i got it from etsy um and the reason that i got it is because in april <laughs> um i went to a larp where i was playing a beekeeper i wanted to have the queen bee be big enough so that i could like hold her around and stuff i called her michael uh, Michael McBee, <laughs> but yeah, um, so she's actually been in my car since, yeah, it was, I think it was, was it March or April? I think it was April, so she's been in my car since April, so I think it's time to probably take her inside and find a nice place for her in my room, I think. The boot actually isn't that bad. Actually, for this one, I might be able to use my tripod. In case you're ever wondering, um, I have a head collar and lead rope in my car, just in case, like, the horses either somehow get out or if I actually came across, like, a stray horse. Not a stray horse, but, you know, one that's gotten walk for walkabouts. <laughs> I was hoping that that would fit. <laughs> that does not fit. <laughs> Quite a few horses in our area actually do tend to keep getting out of, like, a local field. So that's why I like having at least something with me. So if they did do it and I saw it, then I would have something to help. I've just discovered that I've got like a tire pump. That's insane. Like, there is a lot about my car that I don't know. Oh look, it's my cat. Dennis! Hi sweetie! Hi baby! Hello! What's the matter? It's alright, you're not coming in. He's like worried that I'm gonna put him in the car for some reason. Denny! Oh, you're a good boy. take these which these ones are fine um 
yeah, just need a bit of a bit of a clean. Um, and then with this, um, I think for now I'm just gonna like stick it in the dashboard. Um, and then once they've cleaned it, I think actually having it in like that spot would be quite nice. Um, but as you can see, that needs to be cleaned, so I don't want them to get put off by this. So I'm gonna put this in there. Um, and then that is it. That is um, my car is clean of rubbish and tomorrow it shall be clean clean and um, obviously I'll do like a, a follow-up video on that. So on the 1st of January it's both my brother and my nephew's birthday. Uh, so my nephew was turning two this year and my brother 39 I think. Yeah, 39. Uh, so <laughs> I had every intention to basically like go in, obviously have a shower, change into sort of like nice clothes and, and everything. But I spent so long tidying my car and because I wasn't used to like filming and stuff, pretty much I had to leave like straight away. So in hindsight, I kind of wish that I had taken clothes with me at least um, instead of just wearing like the clothes that I had worn at the yard and then obviously like cleaning up my car and everything. Uh, life happens. This is like the cake, specially for him. And then this is like the monstrous cake that my brother bought from a uh, Lola's Cupcakes. It's like cookies and cream or something. Happy to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Teddy and Sean. Happy birthday to you. So what my sister blows? said to me, I'll help him blow out the candles. <laughs> and I didn't mean to blow so hard. <laughs> you can tell that by my face. <laughs> absolutely always think that you have got absolutely everything and then the cleaners find something but yeah I mean this is a magnet as well oh well well I can put that there but at least it looks like yeah see yeah go much better I will do a swoop of how we are looking um I've got to fix my mirror because th this is actually broken like the motor is broken see and I think it was going to cost me about a hundred and something pound to fix and I was just like do you know what I can just I can I can do that that's you know that that's good enough <laughs> Bunny, bunny, bunny. Bunny! He's just gonna ignore me, probably. Bunny! Hi, sweetie. Hello. Oh, look. Beautiful, beautiful starlet. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, see, he just ignores me. Bunny! <laughs> oh, there we go. See, Dusty comes to me. Hi, Dusty. Come on, pretty girl. She, like her brother and her mother, just always have the ears back, don't you? Yeah. Oh, is that tickle? Oh, is that little tickle? And there's Roma. Hi. Gorgeous babies. Gorgeous babies. Hello. See if I can get a bit further away. There we go. Hey. The babies are really sweet. And they're like quite good at personal space as well. Aren't you? I say is this one is like nibbling my leg, which he has a thing to do about doing. Hey. 
that nice. Looks very nice with the sun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? I decided to take her rug off just because it's quite a warm day, give her some air. And she's just like immediately more or less falling asleep. I like how she blends in with the stables. Oh, the girl. <laughs> the babies have been using this stable um, as a shelter because um, they're currently in the overnight, so that um, obviously they can be weaned and everything. And uh, yeah, got some tidying to do. Oh, I've got so much hay left. But yeah, lovely. Unsurprisingly, at this point, I completely forgot to take after footage, but I did clean it up nice. Hi, sweetie. Since I've got around, my mum's now in the stable. Sheldon hasn't seen me coming. Oh, hello, Mr. Pinks. Oh, almost slipped. <gasps> oh, he's hit me. <laughs> hello. Hello. I absolutely hate showing this um, on camera, but as you can see, my room is an absolute tip. Um, and for about four days, three days, four days, I've been saying that I was gonna clean this up and hello cat, and I didn't. Obviously it's not fair on the pets. Um, I mean, actually I think it's been longer than, well, I've been saying it for three to four days, but it's actually been like messier for a lot longer than that. So, my task today is to get this cleaned up. Um, you know, I did the car yesterday, got that tidied today. I'm gonna clean all this up now. Like, it looks worse than it is. It's mostly just a, like rubbish, some laundry, um, and like some washing up and stuff. And then I can just like take everything else out. Like these are some boxes left over from Christmas. I can just get rid of those. So, um, well not get rid of them, but like put them away. Um, so, I'm gonna give everything a wipe down as well, maybe a mop. But yeah, um, I will check in in a moment. It was quite late at night by the time that I had actually finished tidying. The actual tidying only took about an hour, but um, I decided to clean, hoover, mop, all this sort of stuff. Um, and so by the time that I finished, it was like, I think 1 a.m. before I remembered to film this. Um, that's why I'm not talking in it. Okay, so, plate, plate, this could be considered a dish because it's shallow. This, however, is a bowl. This could not be considered a dish. Dish, plate, plate. We also, right, so bowls, 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 bowls. This is a plate, bowl, casserole dish, very specific type of dish. Bowls, casserole dish. Um, and then, there you go, this is what I ate in one. This could be a dish because it's, but it's also a bowl. But this, it's the shallowness. The shallowness creates the dish. But a plate cannot be a dish. Dish, plate, dish. I have to make sure that I make room for her. Because otherwise, you know, she just, she just stays there. <laughs> and then I've got dog. So it's quite nice working from home, having these colleagues. 
<laughs> so we've had a little bit of um, sad news today. Uh, so my duck, Daisy, uh, has passed away this morning. Um, the others at the yard uh, got there and for whatever reason, uh, she just seemed like really lethargic. Um, and like she was in like the little hutch where usually they would like lay their eggs and stuff. They like opened the hutch expecting her to like walk away, quack at them, you know, whatever. Um, like she normally does because she doesn't like really being around people or anything. And um, uh, yeah, uh, she didn't. And like she was still alive at that point. Um, but yeah, sadly, um, they tried to like help her out, see what was wrong and everything. But literally within about half an hour, um, she passed away. So um, they did everything that they, they could with the information and with the time that they had. Um, so it's just just one of those things, sadly. Um, so yeah, we are, we're one duck down. So a few hours after that sad news about Daisy, um, I was scheduled to go to the cinema with my friend. Uh, so obviously seeing the new Avatar film, Way of the Water, or Way, Way of Water. or something i'm not really going to talk about work obviously because that's not what it's for but i will be like we went on an adventure oh no it's flowery. hello everybody <laughs> very good but me and she are going to go for a walk in the dark yeah it's not wanting to focus on it it's very dark out here and his um things should light up but yeah <laughs> sorry sorry you'd call that a what i'd call that a bowl yeah i'd one. call that a bowl as well okay but what about these ones up here hang on so this one bowl Dessert this bowl. one See, I can't, uh, that could be a dish. That could be a dish. A dessert dish and a dessert yeah. bowl. Oh, that's a breakfast bowl and that's a That's dessert. a dish. Yeah. And then also you've got like things like casserole dishes, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Are you now looking for others? Or? <laughs> I was looking for something to put, because I've got two, but the others aren't. Yeah. Plenty. Just before Christmas, I ordered a couple of Dungeons and Dragons minis for my friend um, for Christmas. And I ordered them on the 7th of December and on the 8th of December, I received a message from the um, seller on Etsy, who was, I mean, I think it was like a generic email, um, it, 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 well, not email, but like, you know, a message that he sent to everybody. And basically he was like, um, you know, I've got a lot of orders. I'm trying to get them all out before Christmas. I'm endeavouring to get them out before Christmas. Um, obviously, any issues, let me know. Blah, 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 blah. And like he mentioned about, obviously, like the Royal Mail strikes and stuff and how it was quite frustrating um, that they chose this month um, because it obviously delays orders and stuff. But obviously, just to let him know everything. 
Anyway, so at the beginning of this week, um, I still hadn't received the two minis. Um, and I think it was like the 5th of January when I messaged him because I was like, oh, it's been about a month. Like, I should just, you know, double check. Obviously, I knew that there was like a lot of bank holidays and strikes in between those days. So I didn't want to like jump the gun. But basically, I messaged him and just said, um, hi, I saw your message and everything. So, um, you know, I'm not angry or anything. <laughs> I was just like chasing to see if um, like they had arrived. Um, oh no, sorry. Um, I was just chasing to see like if they had actually been like dispatched and stuff and you know, just making sure they're not lost. But obviously if you haven't got around to doing it yet, that's absolutely fine, blah, 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 blah. And um, I mean, honestly, he replied really quickly and he was just like, I am so frustrated to hear that you haven't received these yet. Like that's like almost, in, you know, that's like insane. Um, and so that evening he then reprinted them and um, maybe it wasn't the fifth, I think it was like the fourth. But anyway, <laughs> that evening he reprinted them and he was like, I'm gonna send them out and you should receive them on Friday. And here they are. The only thing is, I ordered two minis. <laughs> and um, that is, this is, who, who is it? 30% off. This is not, that's not him. Um, but yeah, look, obviously that, that would be two minis. But then there's all this other stuff as well. So I hope he hasn't, after all that, sent me somebody else's order by accident. Um, obviously I'd return it and everything and, and, and get it like and, and it's more like for his sake I, I hope he hasn't done that um if he has given me freebies that is insanely generous especially for something that wasn't his fault so I mean hopefully you know these might have been just spares or something but I'm gonna go through all this see what's there um and then maybe message him and just like figure out what's going on but yeah if he's said yeah these are for you as a freebie or whatever like that is I mean that is insanely generous there we go who is it there you go, Loot Hoarder, and it's on Etsy. Um, obviously, like, don't go and try and get freebies and stuff if uh, this was a generosity thing, but, I mean, that is that is way more than two minis. So, yeah, I'm going to delve into this and see what's, uh, see what's going on. First up is this little crab guy. Um, and do you know what? I've never thought about it before, but it makes so much sense that they've sent with the plastic still on them to, like, support it in transit. Um, but yeah, really funky little crab guy. I'm not going to risk taking the plastic off um, for now until I figure out obviously what's happening. Oh my god, this guy is so cool. It's like a werewolf guy with a little backpack. That is really cool. Like with these extra supports, it just kind of feels like they've been trapped in like some weird goo. You know what I mean? But that is really cool. Oh, there's like a hole in it. I wonder if you're meant to like attach something to it. Is there like a hole on the other side? Ah, oh yeah. I wonder what that's for. That's really cool. I literally just unwrapped this thinking it was one and there's three in here. What is happening? Oh God, I really hope that this isn't somebody else's order. Like, or I really hope these aren't, well, I don't know, like, both I'm like okay obviously if this is somebody else's order that's fine I can just like return it get mine that's fine um obviously I just hope that they don't turn around and go I haven't received my order blah, blah, blah. but obviously he can resell these so that's fine if this this is him being generous that is insane that that is I mean I feel like I can't accept it because that is this is too much it's too much but um what have we got what's this like a like a pot? I can't tell what that is. Um, a shark? Without a fin? Oh uh, no, a little shark, he lost his fin. And then... A... Drag... And chicken. <laughs> I should probably know what these are, really, but wow. Okay, well, I mean, I have still got all of these to go through, and if these have got more than, I mean, this 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 has to be a mistake. This has to be a mistake. <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I did get my right order, so I've got. Because the thing is, I was looking at things like this. And I was like, what the frick is this? Like, is it like a chair or is it meant to be like a cage or something? All right, and then obviously we've got like 
uh, the werewolf and the big crab guy, right? And then, right, so I was looking at this guy and I was like, why is he like sitting in that weird position? And then obviously I'm like, oh, okay, right. I go and check my order. It's made of like a million components. I don't know why in my head, I thought this was like gonna be one fixed thing. Um, and then I've also got, um, hold on, um, fisherman guy. I have no idea why in my head I thought that it was like just one big thing. And also because it's like a mini, I thought it was like, you know, like that big. So, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Here I'm thinking, oh, I've got a bunch of freebies. No, nope, I've got exactly what I ordered. So that's good. That means that I can now wrap these up and give them to him because I'm actually seeing him tonight. So that's great. Oh, you found it. He's going absolutely mad for it. Oh, look, Dennis wants to play. I have no idea how many he's found so far. Hi, Dimmy. Oh, look, I can see one poking out as well. <laughs> Jenny's so good. Oh, he's digging it up, that's cheating. Gotta try and figure it out. <laughs> Did you get it? Excuse me. Okay, so I have you in portrait mode because um, quite frankly, I'm driving and I have no intention of um, being distracted by my phone being in front of me in landscape mode. So you're in your little holder and this way I can just ignore you. Um, but essentially, I have been out this evening um, with my friends. It is like just gone 1 a.m. and I'm only back now. And I just like, I've completely forgotten to like film anything. I am clearly not very used to like trying to make vlogs or anything yet um but also like I just don't know out of all of my friends who would actually want like it's not not honestly like their privacy and stuff but I don't know who would really want their face on the internet and sometimes I feel like a little bit awkward asking but obviously I'm always going to ask before I do it um and yeah just genuinely like also it's just a bit weird obviously sometimes you do just want to like live in the moment and not um you know just i'll get your phone out and 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 not enjoy what you're doing with your friends and stuff so yeah there's a few times this week when i have sat there and thought oh i think i should have actually filmed something here um so yeah already i'm sitting here thinking like for my first vlog i think that it might be a little bit boring for the first week but heck i i kind of know that there's not a lot that i i mean like i i was gonna do this week so yeah, I did have a very good evening. We played Scout, uh, which is a card game, if you haven't heard of it before. Um, it was really fun. Uh, I played it on Christmas Day and I bought myself a copy because of how nice it was. Um, and I was like trying to explain it to my friends and obviously just like panicking that I was like making it too complicated. Um, but they, you know, they picked it up really quickly. I mean, yeah, once you do like one round, you kind of understand what you're doing. So, and they really did like it. So I was quite like, pleased because that means that we can play it again um and uh, then we play some code names which is always really fun um and then i took them through sort of like the plot that i've been working on this week for a pantomime that i'm doing um at the end of this year which is thumbelina which obviously there's not really been a thumbelina pantomime before although in my research i've seen that cbb's something they, they've given me some feedback and everything so uh, I'm home now and um, yeah it's 1am so I'm probably going to go to bed in a second but uh, I just kind of wanted to just like have something here annoying that it's obviously portrait but as I said I didn't want to like have it my phone in a wrong place um, and hopefully actually maybe I should turn the car off like this um, oh, but there'd be light but anyway uh, just a little update of what I've done today because I've realised that I've neglected to film anything because I'm still getting used to it. Oh God, do you ever like reach that point where 
her um you've been like out Ooh. and you know you've been you've been fine and you realize that oh okay you need the loo and you're able to hold on to it and then as soon as you get in or near your house you're like oh my god i need to go right now <laughs> I'd like to say that it's his fault that I've not got out of bed yet because he's on me but it's not <laughs> I just went to bed really late I need to change my sleeping habit, really. And I promised myself I would too, but... And big paws. And big kitty cats. And dapper dude. Yeah. staring at me, offended. I should get out of bed. I just don't want to. Me and my mum took a trip to go and find new pillows each. Ever since we came back from Disneyland Paris, we've had the worst neck aches because their pillows were so lovely. So we knew we needed to get some new ones. See, that's too thick. Yeah, that's not what I want at all, that's too thick. Might be some more upstairs. Yeah. I do like these ones. You're meant to like be able to like sit up in bed. Oh yeah, they're nice. I got the next thing in. I don't like the pillowcase, but that's probably the sort of thickness. Mum, go and stand next to that. I can't even get it in, like, it's huge. My yeah. God. But this is what we I thought in our sitting room. Yeah, that, oh, it smells like carpet. I oh, know, sometimes I like that. We have found a rug she now wants, but we do not know where to find it from, and we are finding trying to find a person in green, but we cannot find it. I did find a pillow in the end. I just completely forgot to film it, but it's on my bed right now. It's really nice. So in terms of the paint, Mum suggested this wall um, because then the shelves, like the white shelves, will like pop, and obviously then. So this would be white, this would be white, and then either I could like carry the paint around and do this wall and this wall, because obviously from the door, you're not really gonna see this wall anyway, and then have that white. And then I thought the inside of the door could be green as well, so that it ties in over there. But then I don't know whether or not to do that wall. And then I guess these two, walls instead but then I suppose if you're looking from the door you're only gonna see the back oh my god it's focusing so yeah so potentially all of this wall maybe then wrap it around to this wall so keeping that one white that one white green behind the door I feel like that might be the best option and then obviously the bed is gonna come over here when I get a new bed and get rid of my my cat my my Heavenly's day bed from Ikea so sad but um yeah and then i want to decorate with like loads of like fake parts and stuff because um 
real ones and not gonna work and maybe get like obviously more oh my god more ivy and stuff someone is shaking constantly Yeah, someone is shaking. He's being a bit of a tart. It's not that cold either. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. My sister has given us uh, like a lot of old um, like smellies and stuff and like what is that like body shimmer and everything. So because um, she's doing a big old clear out and she's got so much of this stuff. So I get to go through all this and decide what I want to keep. Um, so that's exciting. Um, and also I am having bubble tea, which is just it's just the best thing ever. Um, so uh yeah that, let's um so i'm gonna go through this and see what i want to keep she hasn't even used this one this one is unopened what is it um oh it's just like a body moisturizer i just found this which is um i think like yeah basically like a night cream and when i opened it it was a little bit liquidy inside and it just did not smell nice anyway i come to the back and best before <laughs> June 2016 <laughs> so I think we're going to throw that one away this is a very common occurrence my cat becomes a teddy bear I mean he, he looks perfect to me he ignores me I do have Shelly next to me oh hang on there we go hi Shelly hi baby boy is why I have this door here with the bed on it, so he can sit next to me. Because, uh, oh, she just stabbed him in the back of the head. Um, because, uh, when uh, I started to work up here instead of working downstairs, he w he seemed to, oh, gee, oh, there we go. But he seemed to be a bit upset about, um, the fact that he couldn't sit with me anymore, so. I'm really sorry about the hissing. <laughs> it's from the toilet, we need to get it fixed. When I went to the um, cinema the other day, I just stopped off at Lush and um, I got a couple of bath bombs and I'm about to treat myself to a bath and I think today I'm going to use the Magical Santa which I can't open with one hand um, so I will show you when I put it in the bath I've got the water running now hence why there's extra noise but look at this little guy he is so happy and he smells amazing. I think it's um, like a sort of citrus. Mm. I'm absolutely terrible at smells, but yeah, I think that it's going to be like a lemon or something. Um, if, if anybody actually knows, then you know, tell me. But this little guy as well was 50% off. So. Oh, he's got glasses and everything, so yeah, I think that that's going to be a very nice um, bath and a nice scent, so I'm looking forward to that. I genuinely never know the best time to put bath bombs in, um, so I'm just going to put it in now. The water is about two inches deep, I think. Anyway, I have a feeling that obviously we're going to see purple first and then different colours because obviously there's, there's layers, so where's the water? Oh, look at it! Uh, it's like a nebula with a random Santa Claus in it. Also, I apologise because the light in my bathroom is absolutely shocking. Oh, very nice. Lovely. I do have a feeling that it's going to go all this dark pink colour. Like once it's all kind of mixed up. Santa is completely obliterated. So far, I've been completely wrong about the color. It's actually gone orange. It's still got some nice swirls and stuff in it, but definitely, I think just going to be orange, but it smells absolutely amazing in here. Me and my mum bought these hair turbans, um, like the tap, like the microfiber, like towel material uh, for when we went on holiday to Disneyland Paris. And literally, these are a complete game changer because they just sit so nicely on your head. And then I can like, dry myself off, get dressed, potter about and everything and just like leave it on there. Whereas like obviously with the big towels you were like constantly like falling off and stuff. So these were literally like one of my best purchases of 2022 and I think it was like £8 for three or something but 
would highly recommend if you're that is genuinely all i filmed for last week actually um and i say that's all i filmed um and i'm looking at it and currently it's at 55 minutes in so as soon as i add this in it's gonna go probably close to um no it's not, it's not gonna go to an hour but um basically so now what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna play the footage of my car accident that i spoke about at the very beginning of the video um it is not close up it is not graphic in any way um it's basically the cameras that go over the m25 um and thankfully they were able to catch it um now the reason that i'm sharing it is because i just kind of I want that extra understanding because I have found over the last couple of years that when I've spoken about my accident, if I talk about it and don't show people it, they kind of don't really understand just how bad it was, I found. Not that I need them to completely be like, oh my gosh, that was terrible, etc. Um, but because I, as I said at the beginning, I was unharmed apart from the physio that I needed and the mental trauma. Um, yeah, I just... I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know how I walked away from it. Either way, I'm just sharing it because I just I just want that extra understanding there. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to play that now and then the video will end. So um, if you've made it this far, thank you. Um, I can tell you this is, I'm filming this part on Friday the 13th. Ooh. Um, so I immediately know that I have not filmed hardly and anywhere near as much this week um so next video will not be as long i don't know when i'm uploading the next one because i intended to actually upload this on monday and it's now friday so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit i'm just gonna upload them when i upload them um until i get into a proper routine and pattern but um thank you for joining me if uh, you have stuck out this far if you don't want to see the footage then obviously click off the video now but hopefully i will see you next time bye Thank you.